So Marvel Studios, ever since they started with Spider-Man in the MCU, they've been building up a foundation of villains for Spider-Man to fight. Now, of course, one of these happens to be the Scorpion, who we last saw in Spider-Man Far From Home. Now the actor is teasing a comeback down the road, and in this video, we're going to talk about when, where, how, why, and why probably Sony will take advantage of him. So if you guys would like to check out the article, even though it is brief, you can find the link down below. But the actor that plays Scorpion, Michael Mando, I think most of you will know him from Far Cry 3. I believe it was 3 where he played Boss, the best villain in Far Cry so far. Anyways, he says there's always a chance and that there is a chance he's coming back. Now let's be real about this. They cast him. He's out there. He's in that universe. Of course, you're going to bring him back because they set up the foundation for his comeback, right? For him to go after Spider-Man. Now, of course, is this going to happen in the third film? Maybe it could. I mean, when we find out who's coming back for the film, when they start announcing everything in just a few short months and they start shooting, we'll probably have a better idea of this. At the same time, Sony could use him in any of their films. I mean, you know, we know that Michael Keaton is back as the Vulture in Morbius. Last time we saw Vulture, he was literally talking to Scorpion. So maybe he's going to show up in Morbius, right? Like, we don't know. Nobody knew that the Vulture was going to be Morbius till that trailer dropped and shocked everybody. So there's a lot of secrecy. And maybe Sony's going to use this to their advantage and put him in something else. And I mean, you know, Gargan again has been somebody that also took on the symbiote suit. So who's to say he's not going to appear somewhere in Venom after the breakout, or Venom 2, I mean, and maybe he gets it briefly, and then they establish him like that, right? Like, there's plenty of ways to include this character, and I don't think they got a great actor like him, only to make him a small, quick cameo in one film and then never use him again. And if Marvel Studios doesn't end up using him, well, guess what? Sony can use him. I mean, we didn't think they could previously, but then they got Michael Keaton as Vulture, so that kind of throws, you know, like a spiral of theories and just a lot more questions into everything we thought we knew. So again, this character is guaranteed appearing somewhere down the road. Now, is it going to be in Spider-Man 3, Venom 2, Morbius, Sinister 6, Venom, whatever? Um, Who knows? But you can guarantee he's going to come back. And he's teasing it because there's always a chance and that chance is like 100% yes, he's coming back.